Digital wisdom is healing for the crisis in sense-making. Our information systems are in a state of disarray, while trust in media and our institutions is in free fall. Multiple parties are scrambling for control of the discourse, and especially control of the narrative which tells us who the good guys, and the bad guys are. The outcome of all this remains uncertain. And even if we can agree on the resolutions, how exactly do we go about making the required changes? Regulate? Excommunicate? Or simply, annihilate? Whatever the solutions, they are going to be problematic, as all solutions are. It's this historical and civilizational impasse that has led futurist, Marcus T. Anthony, to write his latest book, Power and Presence. The book's subtitle, Reclaiming Your Authentic Self in a Digitized World, suggests his unique approach to the sense-making crisis. Anthony believes that it is in developing a more conscious relationship with ourselves, the world, and technology, that we can establish a genuine foundation for creating deep futures. Simply regulating everything and punishing people isn't going to work, at least not by itself. We have to look deeper than that, right into the soul of humanity, and ask ourselves, what does it mean to be human in the digital age? For this is a meaning crisis, one that long precedes the digital age, and which has been developing for centuries. Part of the solution should be teaching for digital wisdom, which is one of the five pillars of the authentic self. We as a species can inculcate a greater capacity to safely and wisely navigate the internet, while retaining a strong sense of embodied presence, and a connection to our authentic selves. Yet these things will not likely come naturally to us. Our species has not evolved to deal with the web's constant dopamine and adrenaline hits, its endless clickbaits, attention-sapping alerts, aggravating projections and insults, pervasive sexualization and pornography, and its relentless misinformation and disinformation. We have to begin to value digital wisdom, to commit to it, to practice it, and to embody it. Digital wisdom indicates the degree to which a person is in conscious relationship with digital environments and technologies. This includes understanding the way that online technologies and environments function, and how best to respond to them. In order to have an advanced degree of digital wisdom, we need to develop an awareness of both internal and external experience. This includes an essential understanding of biology and human behavior, as well as the economic and political structures that constitute our society, both online and offline. Digital wisdom comprises three parts. The first is, know thyself, the second is, know the humans, and the third is, know the machines. Individuals, organizations and societies can work at developing these three domains of digital wisdom, both personally and collectively.